My recent video caused a bit of a stir, didn't it? And that's good. I like causing a stir. But I thought it was a bit funny because the video in question was quite superficial and it focused on one thing and one thing only. And that was the argument that was being presented by religious people providing health insurance that including contraception in that cover would be a violation of their religious beliefs. And if that is the argument that is being presented, I was focusing on the argument only and saying um, how does that impact on what religious belief actually? Because nobody is forcing them to use contraception. And if it's about allowing other people access to contraception, then I must come to the conclusion that the religious belief that they're complaining about, the religious belief that they think they are forced to violate, seems to be the religious belief that they have a right to stick their nose into other people's business. And that was all it was about. I wasn't interested in that video in discussing the rights and wrongs of the legislation, but of course a lot of people who watched the video took it as such and started harping on to me about legislation. So I've had a bit of a thought about that as well. And I found some of the rationale presented a bit peculiar, because a lot of people seem to be getting terribly upset with the notion that somehow this legislation that was under discussion seemed to be impinging of the right on the rights of employers to decide what they can or cannot provide for their employees. And that is putting it completely backwards in my opinion. Let's take a step back and let's just look at the fundamental issue at stake here. When we're talking about rights, when we're talking about freedom, when we're talking about liberties, it must be based on a firm foundation that this is about liberties for individual human beings. It's about their freedom. It's about their freedom of expression, their freedom to express their identity. That is what it's about. And anything that exceeds the level of an individual human being should not, by definition, have rights in our society. We can, of course, grant them rights. Don't get me wrong. And I think it is perfectly reasonable to give a company, for example, a lot of leeway in our society in order to ensure a healthy capitalist market in which prices and services can find natural levels that make sense. Perfectly fine, no problem with that. But on the other hand, the liberties of an employer, an organization, a company, a state, or anything that exceeds the level of an individual human being, must always remain restricted by the consideration that it cannot in any way whatsoever impinge on the freedom and liberty of individual human beings. We must always bring it back to that level. If we don't, we are building a society that we do not want to live in as human beings, as individual human beings. And we must avoid that like the plague. So, when a government puts in rules and regulations, I don't think there's any validity in an argument that that restricts the freedom of companies to conduct their business any way they see fit. Well, if that's the case, too bad. But especially if the rule is put in place in order to give people 
more freedom to conduct their personal lives in the way they see fit, then that is a sacrifice that is not only worth making, but that must be made. So I have no sympathy whatsoever for an employee who claims that the requirement to pay for health insurance that covers contraception somehow impinges on his religious beliefs. If there are rules and regulations in place that state what services a company must provide in order to legitimately call itself a health insurance company, then the choices are very simple. You either stop calling the service you are providing health insurance and move on that way, stop providing the service altogether, or you put up and shut up. Those are the options that are available to you as an employer or as a health insurance company, given that such a rule would be in place. And to argue that it should be otherwise is, in my opinion, backwards and not even worth considering. Thank you.